welcome to Mesa Hungary. Today we're going to make sausages. So for sausages, you're going to need ground pork. And I am actually going to ground it myself because it's a habit, I guess. I have some pork here. Um, make sure you wash your meats and rinse it off really good. So make sure your hands are clean. Grab a paper towel and pat your meat dry. I am on my apron. You want to get a big knife and your meat. And it helps if your meat has a little bit of fat on it. The sausages, um, the Laos sausages um, taste better with fat. So you don't have to put that much if you're watching your diet or not. But um, usually, um, these kinds of sausages have a good amount of fat in it. But I'm just going to cut back on it for a little bit today. So you want to slice um, in about cubes. It doesn't really have to be too small, I'm going to chop it up. You can use a food processor or blender, whatever you use to chop up meat, but I am doing this old fashioned way, which is by hand, and by using a meat cleaver, or a butcher's knife, or whatever you want to use. So you want your meat slices to look like this. You slice it up like this. helps to have a really sharp knife and um, a heavy one is also very helpful. Mine is kind of light right now, but you can improvise with whatever you have. So like that. some water nearby. So I'm going to have this tray and put some water in it so that the meat won't stick to the knife so much. If you don't have a tray near, you can also use a wet napkin. A wet napkin will work as well. So you can just like that and then Keep chopping. Now remember, you want to use a heavy knife and a really sharp knife, or else you'll be here forever. So my knife is kind of um, light. It's kind of a cheap knife, but uh, if you've done this enough, um, you will get the hang of it. I would say this is about a pound and a half of ground meat. Um, Alright, so to add some salt. So salt. Alright. So about a handful of rice I'm gonna put in here. This is sticky rice. I'm gonna put that, crumble it up over and put it in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna chop up a lemon grass. And I'm just going to take off the outer part that's turning brown and chop this up and put it in there. So you might have to pound it up with a mortar and pestle. 
um, but you really want it to be really fine. Then you want the cuts to be chopped very fine. So you can't, if your lemongrass is really hard, um, you can pound it in water and pestle like this one. much lemongrass. Okay, you're going to need um, hog casing, or this is um, Hatfield uh, sausage casing. If you go to like an Oriental Asian um, store, they might have their own brand or their own kind, and it might say hog casing. It's the same thing. So this is what you need. And this is frozen, so I'm just going to thaw it out while I'm preparing the food. I'm going to get a spoon and mix everything together. And if your rice is really sticky, um, just break it apart. It's not going to come apart. Uh, just put a little bit of water in it and uh, you know, don't break it apart. Be sure you get all the um, clumps of rice broken apart. Because the rice is supposed to just um, give it more flavor, more of a sticky rice, like a starchy flavor. It's not supposed to be like overpowering, so break up all the rice grains in there. So break it up. Adding water to break up the rice. Oh, I forgot the green onions. I knew I was missing something. I was like, what did I forget? Okay, so. You're going to need green onions. So, chop up your green onions, which is what I'm going to do right now. You must be getting something. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to use approximately, depending on how big your green onions are, these ones are really skinny, they're really like small. Some are bigger, like this one, but this is kind of shoveled. See, this one's thick, this one's thin, thick and thin. But this one's like old, you can tell by the color. It's still usable, but it's kind of old. So this one is a lot nicer, and um, but you know, it's a skinnier one. So I'm going to use this one. 